This is Spencer with the MacGuffin, and today I'm joined by uh, Bella Thorne, who is both an actress and a producer on Shovel Buddies, which is here at South by Southwest. Uh, one of the first things I want to ask you is, why did you decide to do this both from the level of being an actress and a producer involved with it? It shows a certain level of commitment. What was it about this project that sort of drew you in? That is really funny because no one has asked me about being a producer on the film yet. Literally no one yet. Um, when I read the script, I love these characters and I really love the dialogue most of all. It was really good because you don't usually see a dialogue that's really true to a teenage to a teenager. And um, and our writer is really young, and usually you have like six year olds saying what should be saying on the sixteen year old's mouth, which is like super weird and not realistic. And any teen watching it is going to be like, mm. and we also paint these teenagers as young adults, which is really good because you know I think the old fashioned mindset is that teenagers are so young and they're so simple minded and oh they don't know what they're doing like no they know how to use Instagram and you don't so you don't know what you're doing yeah. so I was glad that we got to do that and they, you know paint teenagers as like how we really are we're little mini adults um, and I want us to be a producer because I love going behind the scenes like I'm literally never in my trailer I can give two fucks what it looks like because I am always behind the scenes looking at the TVP and you know the focus pulling and I want to write and direct one day so this was a way for me to get behind the scenes and you know really see what's going on. Your character is in a very sort of complex position in terms of like there's somewhat of a relationship with one of the characters. Obviously, your brother is the one that died. You have a contentious relationship with another friend. Um, what was it like sort of trying to get in the mindset of having all these complex relationships simultaneously sort of being thrown at her, as well as dealing with the death of your brother immediately prior to that? I think that a lot of the way you can tell she's dealing with this is by the tone of her voice and by the tone... Um, like the rhythm that I speak in, like it's really small stuff, but maybe you probably wouldn't notice. But when it's all added up together, that's what makes you think like, oh, Bella's really in that character. It's a lot of like, the way you say something really shows how you're feeling inside, just the tone of your voice. And like me, how I'm always like kind of getting at Kean in a way, you know, I kind of hate his character a little bit, I think is a big part of it. And the scene that it like, you know, it really shows where she is emotionally is that ending scene when she yells at him. And I think one of the biggest things that girls are so scared of is after you have sex with a guy that they'll never call you again. And that is like, guys think that like, oh, it's not that big of a deal, but to a girl, it's not only really humiliating, it's shaming, it's it's literally everything in the books. And it's so sad and you feel so depressed. And that was, when I did that scene, not only have I like been so scared of that, so that was a natural scene for me, but I felt like I was talking on behalf of all these girls that never have to be like, fuck you, like, you're not a good person. Uh, one of the interesting things about the film is the physical acting of it. I mean, obviously, some people are much more intense than others. But one of the things that sort of I've become aware of is I took a class on body language. And they say, you know, 70% of communication is done physically. Mm -hmm. What was it like for you in terms of the physical nature of this film and sort of thinking about presenting yourself without, when you when you don't speak, you know, mm -hmm. not how you, you know you put the words together, but the other time that there's you so much. You great questions. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's something, it's it's so small, and it's it's done in acting, but it's also really done in camera work. The shift of the shoulders, and the twitch of the fingers, and like, the, you know, the kind of odd things that people play with their straw when they're nervous, and like, the really small things make that character so realistic, because people do have these, you know, things that they do. Yeah. Um, so, during the film, my body language is always pretty, like, like a major hunter, I'm like, really just like, I really don't care. And the character is kind of like that too. And even though she's sure. going through so many like emotional bits in the film, she also is like, at the end of the day, she's still a teenage girl. She's still kind of in love. And she still has like this, I don't really give a fuck kind of attitude. <laughs> um, and I think that like, that was one of the really important parts of the character is to have that attitude and that mindset because otherwise, she doesn't fit in with the group. Like she, like the character doesn't fit in with all these guys, you know. So it was easy for me because I am like a real hot boy, and we said in interviews that I'm pretty sure I'm like the most manly out of the guys. So <laughs> it's easy. 
That's a pretty funny uh, <laughs> statement. Um, all right, so the film is Shovel Buddies. You both produce and act in it. Um, what do you have coming up after this that people might want to stay tuned for? And is there what's the base, best place to find out what you have going on, I guess? Basically. Um, the best place to find out where I have going on is probably like, I guess, IMDb, my social media sites, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Bellathorn Dab on Snap, and Bellathorn on all other social media sites. Um, I have a film that I'm going to shoot soon called um, John F. Zobin, and it's with Xavier Dolan as the director, and Jessica Chastain is my wow. sister, and I play her um, sister slash assistant, and Kit Harrington and Kathy Bates. Wow. And it's a lot of really great actors, wow. so I'm so hyped to work with them. And then I have um, another film with um, Awesomeness called You Get Me, which is I get to play like a legit psycho, a <laughs> real psycho. So I'm really That's pretty fun, hyped yeah. about that because I love being creepy. I really love being weird, so I really get to express that side of That's me. That's very cool. And then I have um, I have The Babysitter coming out, which is a horror comedy with McGee that's super controversial. Mm -hmm. I have like a girl on girl scene, which is like a lot in slow motion. In <laughs> slow motion. And then I have um, and then I have Midnight Sun coming out, and then I have another film I'm wow. supposed to shoot called EXO, and then I have Ratchet Pink coming out and um, Underdogs and God, Laura, so many you can't one. even think of. Yeah. <gasps> I'm missing one, but I have another one. So check out the social media. That's yeah, probably so what just, you got there. You know what? Just go on my yeah. Just go on my Insta. Well, thank you so much for the time, and best of luck with thank Shovel you. Buddies and the extremely long list of other things oh, that are coming up after this. Thank you. can't stop me. I'm a fire tonight. can't stop me. I'm a fire tonight. Even can't stop me. I'm a fire tonight. The board can't stop me. I'm a fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.